Are you a new coach who's looking around at everyone else's business and seeing what they're doing and what they're up to and thinking, oh my gosh, they have more followers, they're doing it better, I am behind, they have fancier marketing, they have more certifications, more degrees, more training, more followers, and this is keeping you stuck in this analysis paralysis of I'm not good enough, I can't make it work, other people are doing it better. There's too much competition. If that sounds familiar, please know that you are not alone because I hear this all the time from coaches. And one of the things I want you to recognize as a coach, you are seeing a million other coaches. You are probably purposely following their stuff. You are also getting marketed it because uh, social media always knows what you're up to and they're going to send you marketing based on the stuff that you are interested in. And so most likely you're seeing this a lot and it isn't the reality of the picture. It's not like everyone in the world is a coach and the online marketplace is filled with coaching. Like that is not, that is not the case, but that is probably what your experience is. But I want to talk a bit about this comparison. Um, you may have heard that comparison is the thief of joy. And I, I really think there's something to this. I think that when we get in this place of comparison, that it's a really great way for us to take ourselves out of the game of being able to create a successful business. Um, and the number one reason why is because it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing or how they are doing it. It really has no impact on you unless mentally you allow it to, okay? I do not believe in this idea of competition or of this marketplace being oversaturated. I always believe like if you show up and you're doing a really good job at what you're doing, there is going to be a market for it no matter what. I don't care how many other people are doing what you're doing. Um, as long as you're offering something that people are looking for, which is important and willing to pay for, there will be a market for it. There is a place for it. There is people who are meant to work with you, okay? Um, specifically what because of your personality because of your unique story because of how you do things because of your training whatever it is that unique combination combination that makes you you it means that there is a place for you in the marketplace and if you are called to be a coach then it's something you are meant to be doing and there is a place for you like i do not believe you'd be called to do something that you are incapable of being successful at, okay? So keep in mind, it does not matter what anyone else is doing, how many followers they have, how they are marketing their business. Just imagine if you hadn't even seen that. It wouldn't even matter and it wouldn't be in your brain. So just recognize this, right? What someone else is doing does not have an impact on you unless you allow it to through your thoughts about what that person is doing and who you are in comparison to that person, okay? Um, the other thing, when you're going and you're looking at what everyone else is doing, you are really closing your intuition and your own creativity because your brain is so full of what this person is doing and what that person is doing and maybe I should be doing it like that. And so I really see this, that when you step away from looking at what other people are doing, that you, your business will become more successful. You will become more creative. Your intuition will start speaking to you more. You will get better at creating content. You'll get better at putting yourself out there and connecting with people because you aren't, your brain isn't so caught up in what this person is doing and what that person is doing. And instead you can follow your own intuition as far as what's best for you. Okay. And so giving yourself this space by not looking at what everyone else is doing is really in your best interest and will allow you to shine because how you are meant to shine and how you will be most successful is by being your most authentic self. And how you do that is you stop do trying to do it like other people and you do it like you. Okay. And the last thing I want to say when it comes to comparison is I like to tell people it's much like if you are trying to lose weight and you decide to go and buy a bunch of junk food and keep it in your pantry. Um, 
Comparison is, is the same way as far as like, you want to protect yourself from it and take actions that are smart so that you are not comparing yourself because it is kind of normal to do this comparison thing. Like our brain will go there unless you've really trained it very well to not do that, um, which is something great to work on. But at the same time, like why not protect yourself from comparison and not do the things that would make you compare yourself to everyone else. And that's probably means going and looking at what other people are doing, following certain people on social media who you find yourself comparing yourself to, just protect yourself from that. Just like you went and go and buy all the crap food, don't go and follow the people who you find yourself comparing yourself to. Just be smart about it, right? <laughs> just same way you would if you were trying to lose weight or be healthy when it came to like keeping your, your house stocked with junk food. Like just, it's not smart. It's putting you in a bad situation. Same thing with comparison. Don't put yourself in the situation of comparing yourself. Just protect yourself from that. It's just, that's smart. Like just do that, okay? So these are the things I want to share with you about comparison and just knowing you're not alone in this, like it's all something that we do, um, but that it, it's not real and it's not serving you and just don't put yourself in a place where you're gonna be comparing yourself so that you have the bandwidth to have your own ideas, your own intuition, your own creativity, because this is ultimately what's going to lead you on your path to success, being authentic. All right. So that is what I have to share with you today. If you want to dive a bit deeper into the steps of getting consistent clients in your health coaching business, I have a training for you. I will link below this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I do new videos each week and I want to thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in next week's video.